call for JJ, everybody. Come on, man. Let's get started. Let's get the first time I heard that titty mug joke, though, I had nightmares for like a week. Like, all I could imagine was like a titty holding the mug, slow sipping some coffee and shit like that. That's ridiculous. And y'all need to leave my mama alone, all right? I can talk about it, but y'all need to be going like ham on it. It's the 12th installment that we've had a live comedy here at Big City. Um, it's all thanks to you guys for coming out and supporting. And so I just can't thank you. I thank you guys enough. It's been amazing. I really, really appreciate it. As always, shout out to our sponsors, Jamaican Trolls, Grasslands, and our recent partnership with PBR. You hear what I'm saying? We got PBR for the low right now. So, dream come true. I've been working PBR since I was nine years old. I, uh,. I got a question for you guys. You guys know what soaking is? Yeah. You guys know what soaking is? Okay. For those who don't know, this is what Mormons do, like you know, like BYU stuff like that. And I swear they will just put the dick in and then have somebody bounce on the bed, and that way the Lord still loves you. Right? Now, honestly, that sounds kind of nice to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'll be working too hard, you know what I'm saying? My pump game gets a little weak, my plank game ain't where it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So if I had somebody to jump on the bed for me and bounce bounce my shit, I would be very, very happy with that. <laughs> I talk about a lot about like, you know, kind of obscure shit, a lot of taboo subjects. I talk a lot about like eating ass and fucking white women and stuff like that. And the problem is is that my mom comes to every single one of my shows. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, my mom's the one in my shows who's like starting a wave in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like a like, fucking duck football game and shit. But it's really not my fault. It's like I had a show this last weekend and one of the comics was talking about how they you know, went to college in Eugene and they had a lot of sex outside. And my mom just goes, I heard that. That's why I do comedy. That's what, that's what Trauma to do right? <laughs> yeah, Eugene's a weird place. I went to a uh, a Grateful Dead jam band show a couple weeks ago. You guys like the Grateful Dead in here? Yeah. Yeah, y'all whack. They're whack and shit. They're whack and shit. I don't fuck with the Grateful Dead. They play like the same six songs. Each song's 40 minutes long. You never know when they change. And all the hippies just be twirling in the circle the whole time. They just be twirling. Ran into like six fucking hippies who tried to just get to the bar at the last Grateful Dead show. This motherfucker got their eyes closed. I'm like, open up your goddamn eyes. I had this white dude with dreads come up to me and he was just like, my girlfriend's black. I was like, that is not how you start a conversation with black people. All right, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now. That's not how you do it. <laughs> how we feeling tonight, y'all? Like I said, Eugene's kind of a weird place. Like, I remember when I was a kid, growing up, my dad used to have a lot of barbecues and stuff like that. And one time this dude came over and he was hitting a weed pipe and he started roasting that shit from the bottom. <laughs> and even I was like, hey, hey, that's not how you do that. That's not how you do that. You're supposed, supposed to hit it from the top. You're supposed to hit it from the top. <laughs> Crack pipes be going crazy out here. Like crack pipe is like the new like designer accessory. You know, like people be matching their crack pipe with their shoes and shit like that. Like, put the crack pipe out on the bed before the next day of school and shit. <laughs> it's just wild to me. I promise. I uh, I heard they're bringing bringing beatings back to school. You guys heard about that? And all the boomers are like. Back in my day, they used to beat me at school and I never brought a gun to school. Well, my man, this is a different generation. You start putting hands on these kids, they're gonna bring that bang on you. <laughs> you can't even beat these kids nowadays. This is 2023, they're gonna fucking shoot the whole damn school up. You start beating them like that. <laughs> ah, shit. I, uh, I grew up around a lot of white people, obviously. yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of made it tough like when I go visit like you know my, my, my black family I'd go and visit them and stuff like that and I'd be like hey guys you guys want to go like watch Hannah Montana and they'd be like nah we're gonna go sell crack down by the Zestos <laughs> I was like yo 
Yo! The fuck? Oh shit. No, I, uh, I do talk about a lot about, like, you know, uh, race, politics, and religion and stuff like that. Things people don't really like to hear about in comedy, but I enjoy it, so y'all gotta deal with it. But my thing is, like, growing up around by white people, I grew up around this dude, his name was Purple. I swear to God, my mother's name was Purple. And I can never forget that. I was sitting in math class, ninth grade, and they go through and they're like, Kelly, Alan, Sarah, Purple. And I was like, no, nah, hold on a second. No, 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 cut that noise right there. We're not just going to act like you didn't just say color of the rainbow. You just said the whole color of the rainbow. I swear to God, this motherfucker looked at me and he was like, I go by ocean. That's not better. That's not better. That's worse. If anything, that's worse. White people, y'all got some crazy ass names. Like, y'all call your grandparents crazy shit, right? Like your pee-pees and your poo-poos and your pop and stuff like that. Man, I asked my coworker, white guy, I was like, Hey brother, like you call your grandparents anything crazy? He was like, no, we just call them Carol and Todd. <laughs> like, That's the weirdest fucking thing you can call somebody. Like, what is wrong with you? If I call my granny by her government name, I would not be standing in front of y'all right now. I'd be up in the great beyond, up to the lords, with all the lords. <laughs> y'all ready to get the show going? Y'all, we have a great lineup of comics for you from for you from Salem, Portland, and Eugene. Uh, first off, from Eugene, we have an amazingly talented com comic who has shown me so many cool things, giving me great constructive criticism and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I actually look at her as like a real.